Hi, I'm Dr. Steve G. Jones, and here today with my good friend Bert Martinez. Bert, thanks for being here. You bet. I'm and, excited. Yeah, I mean, this is an exciting topic. We're going to talk about the law of attraction and using it for wealth manifestation. So, Bert, how does that work for you in your life, using the law of attraction and applying that to, to creating wealth? I, for me personally, I have found that uh, when I... Uh, let's say, get too stuck in my worry or my doubts or my fears, uh, law of attraction really just cease to stop. Uh, I feel very uh, stuck um, and uh, obviously going in the wrong direction. So I use mm -hmm. that as a, kind of a gauge. Uh, and so then I start focusing on the possibilities and trying to feel how it's going to feel when I achieve you know, that goal. Mm -hmm. And that uh, really helps me to start uh, feeling um, more positive, uh, feeling more hopeful, uh, and then, then you know, sometimes creativity will kick in, and I know also I'll get inspired to maybe uh, do a course, or uh, maybe to redesign a funnel, or maybe call somebody and say, hey, you know, let's do something, and from there it just moves forward. Yeah, I've noticed that you're a guy who gets inspired a lot. I mean, you have a lot of great ideas and always doing something. I remember one time you invited me, even though I didn't make it, you're on the East Coast having dinner with Arnold Schwarzenegger, right. for example, and uh, uh, you're always involved in uh, things that are very progressive. And so is that is that what you draw on the law of attraction, among other things, of course, uh, to kind of keep you pumped up and focused? I do. I think that I think the law of attraction works best with uh, you know, let's call it faith. You know, you have mm -hmm. to believe that you deserve it. You have to believe it's possible for you. And then, you know, I think work. You have to work it. I mean, if, you know, if you want to be healthier, you have to do certain things. Maybe change your diet. Maybe get in the gym. There's some work involved. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people are confused. Well, you know, I'm thinking all these positive thoughts and things should happen. I think the law of attraction is just part of the equation of success you have to also work, you have to create, you have to be, your actions I think have to be worthy of what you want to attract. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. I totally agree with that. Everything has to be congruent, work yes, together. Yes, I like that congruence. The, yes. Yeah, yeah. And then you can notice it as you kind of alluded to also in your life. If it's not, if things aren't meshing and working out, then there's something not quite right. It's either fix it or eliminate it or uh, find a way around it or what have you. So it helps keep keep things on track. Well, good. And you've been able to do quite a bit in your life uh, as far as wealth manifestation goes. And uh, so apparently it's working out for you. It's working out. And you know what? It's, it's one of those things that I think it's a never-ending discovery. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, get to, you get to, let's say, this new level. And then, of course, we hit the same, we, we hit the same limits everybody else does, no matter mm -hmm. what. I always like to say whether you're Donald Duck or Donald Trump, you still have to deal with your self-image, your self-doubts, your, your, your imposed self-limitations. Mm -hmm. And so you've reached this level, now you've got to push a little bit this level. Okay. And one of the things I, you know, that I want to bring up is it's not necessarily about having more money. Money is just m one of the ways of manifesting, let's call it your power, your faith, your, your, your abilities. Um, I know people that uh, don't care anything about money. Uh, they attract tons of it. Um, but it's, you know, I think that we are here as human beings to, uh, what do you call it, continue to progress. That's what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. We have to fulfill the measure of our creation, and that is just going to the next level. Yeah, I, I found that to be completely true. The less I focus on money directly, the more it just comes to me and I don't have to worry about it. Right. And for me, it shows up in just focusing on creating uh, good programs yes. and products and, and just doing the things that help people. And when I do that, the money takes care of itself. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So many people chase the money instead of, you know, bringing value as you're talking about, you know, and then, and then when you take that money away and just create, just focus on the value, serving your audience, then you feel better, the money comes Life is fun. Absolutely. Now, Bert, if people are interested, where can they learn more about you? You can go to BertMartinez.com. You can find out all about me there. I've got some articles and my contact information there as well. What about you, Steve? Well, you can go to my website. Thanks for asking, Bert. <laughs> you can go to SteveGJones.com. We have a uh, free hypnosis download. Anything available on your website? You know what? I uh, At the moment, I don't have anything free, but I do have a bunch of free articles that they can, there you go. They can look at. And, of course, if they have questions, hit me up. I like it. I like it. Well, thanks, Bert. You Appreciate bet. Your time. You bet.